What's up guys, back again with another episode of the HTML tutorial. So I'm going to teach you about headers now, which are like basically the headings of your web page. I just said the same thing twice kind of, but let me show you. It's better showing than explaining because I'm not good at explaining. So to get started, we're going to rename this file actually and name it, um, let's name it boilerplate. And that's just, that just means like that's the basic layout of the web page. So anyway, so we're going to name this one, uh, headings dot HTML. And of course, remember H dot HTML, you know, got to have that because that's, um, signifies to the browser that's the HTML file into your computer also. Okay. So there's six of them and they allow, they all come in different sizes. One being the biggest size and six being the lowest, the smallest size of the headings. So First, obviously, we're going to need our uh, web page layout, so doc type HTML. And I know this will be hard to remember at first, but uh, as you get used to your um, programming in, in this, you'll get used to it. So, like, you'll be able to type easily, like I do. So then we're going to need our head here. And inside of our head, we're going to give it a title of headings. Then we're going to need a body. And then inside the body, we can start coding. So, um, we're going to have a first heading tag by having h1 and then we're going to give it a name of heading one then reload and there we go there's our first heading it's pretty big and so we can make another one heading two there we have our second one here pretty cool so the third one obviously is going to be h3 heading three then we h4 heading H5 heading five, and for the last one, for the last one, I'm going to show you a, a shortcut you can do with um, something that's something that's built into VS Code. If you type the um, the text of the uh, tags itself, and then press Tab, then it'll make the tags basically. So inside that, we can have heading six. Oops, six. And there are our are our six <laughs> headings. So. You know, biggest is one, so all the way down to six. And let's try out seven. Oops. And you know, even Emmett knows that, or it's called, that's the thing it's called. Even that knows that there is no H7, so test, or whatever. Yeah, so that, it, it's just, it doesn't even work. It's just, that's just a P tag right here. Um, so yeah. I mean, I know it's a P tag because it's bigger than the H1, it's a different format to it. H1 is bold and not h1 but all the headings and so yeah sometimes i call these headers but yeah anyway there's so there's six of them and there's one one more thing i want to show you it's called an h1 and an h1 is actually one of the self-closing tags and all you got to do is have it like that and you're good to go and it just makes a visible divider here on your web page and it's used to make sections on your web page so users know that there's like a division like a section of something and so we can make these for each one And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode um, of our headers. And so next episode, we're going to get into the P tag. And the P tag is actually pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty simple also, so it's going to be a short episode. But uh, So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you need help. And subscribe if you want to see more. So peace.